Hi, this is Karen Moreland. I'd like to show you how I smooth skin using Photoshop. We can get some really amazing results using just a few simple tools. So let's go ahead and open up our image in Photoshop. And the first thing we're going to want to do is make a duplicate layer. In case we make any destructive edits, we can go ahead and delete that layer. So let's zoom in really close to our subject's face in the area that we're wanting to smooth out. Make sure you're working on your duplicate layer. And we're going to choose the spot healing brush tool. Now let's make sure you are in normal mode and the type is content aware. So we're going to go ahead and basically just touch on any area that's really obvious like a pimple or um, any, any sort of blemish basically that stands out to you. We don't have to get super detailed. Obviously we're not going to touch on every little spot on the skin, um, but this is just going to be kind of a precursor to the next part of it. Um, so this is just subjective. Do as much as you want to, but um, don't let it consume you because obviously most sessions you're going to be working on multiple images. So we want to get this process down to where we're comfortable with it, but where it's not going to be extremely time consuming. So just get the basic stuff you think that's really noticeable to you and then um, when you're ready, we'll move on to the next section. So I'm going to go ahead and just um, skip ahead doing this section myself and then um, show you what's next. Okay, so let's go over and choose our brush tool and we want to choose a nice soft brush. And then we're going to turn our opacity way down to maybe like 12, 13, something low. Okay, and then let's go ahead and pick the eyedropper tool. And we're going to start selecting areas of her skin. I'm just changing my brush back to be like a, a pretty good size for one little section. But we want to basically go back and forth between the eyedropper tool and the brush tool. And we are essentially going to just paint makeup on her face. But every little section we want to paint on something that's going to match those skin tones in that area. And since we're using such a low opacity brush of like 12-13%, it's not going to be that noticeable at first, but we basically want to just go and take that eyedropper tool and sample a section of where you want to work and then switch right back over to that brush and brush a few strokes in that area. And you're just going to repeat this process until you feel like you get the results that you want. Now, um, it looks like I'm going pretty quickly and essentially I am. I'm just using my keyboard shortcuts. It helps me go so much faster besides um, uh, instead of going back and forth just clicking on each tool. So I'm using the I for eyedropper and I'm using B for brush. And I can basically just click I when I want to tap on an area and select the color and then go to B and hit brush and then I, I'm ready to paint again. Now notice that the size of my brush is kind of small. I don't want to have too big of a brush because that's going to cover a little bit too much. We have so many different tones and highlights and all the colors are just vastly different across her face. They don't look like they're really that big of a difference, but they are. Um, so we want to just make sure and sample a small area and keep the brush a little bit smaller so we are not um, getting the wrong colors in the wrong places basically. So this is again going to be just a process um, that you're going to go over and over with. You can experiment with um, a different opacity. You can go up a little bit more. I wouldn't really recommend going any lower than 12% because you really aren't going to see it and it's going to take a lot longer. But I think to get a more natural look, keeping a low opacity and keeping a smaller brush is going to give you the best results. When you're looking at different areas that you want to kind of smooth out, um, make sure that we stay away from things that are um, really in focus like the eyes and the teeth and the nostrils and things those areas we really want to preserve the way that they are and not cover them up so um, keep everything um, to the skin areas that should be nice and soft and kind of dreamy looking that's what we're really going for is just a nice glow about the skin to make the highlights really um, come to life and just create a nice overall um, beautifying effect so just continue on to where you feel like it's getting better and you're starting to see the results that you want. 
I'm going to go ahead and skip through this next section and then show you what we need to do after this. Okay, when you are finished with your painting, go back to the Spot Healing Brush tool and then touch on any last um, areas that you feel like didn't really get covered with the um, paint brushing. Again, this is just a suit where you feel like it is um, looking the way you want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and skip through to the end of where I've done this and then we'll wrap everything up. So once we've finished, we can turn the visibility on and off of our duplicate layer to kind of get a before and after effect to see if we like the results. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and flatten our image. And we want to save it as a JPEG. And we are all finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe.